all right, I'll put a link to the series and the videos down below, but this is the old 93 Toyota. We've got it back on the road. If you remember or followed along in the series at all, we done a complete rebuild. Uh, we had to put a head on it. We done an EGR delete, which is gonna be the topic of this video. Any of y'all looking to do that, I'll put the links and some pictures up here in a minute, but I didn't do a complete video. I'm gonna put a link to one that I went by. The guy does a really good job so there's no use in me rehashing that, but this is the result. Cleaned the engine bay up quite a bit. If you remember, there's a big... All right, we're back. I forgot we had Billy the Kid in the background doing some target practice, but we had a big plenum, big metal piece on top of here. It had a bunch of vacuum lines. Some of those little uh, vacuum things over there went on it. Cleaned all that up. We took the exhaust where it uh, shoots the exhaust around through there and reburned some of that. Um, come around over here. They got this big old, I'll show you a picture of all the stuff here in a minute we took off. The big, I think they refer to it as acorn. It went right here. <clears throat> we done those uh, plates that uh, deleted where all this stuff right here had to bolt those on there. Uh, part of that's for your water. Part of it's for the uh, air that it forces back into the intake and burns. Everybody knows how an EGR system works. <clears throat> Cleaned the overall engine up under there. We pressure washed it while we was at it. Uh, cleaned everything up. Now we do have to, I'm going to run it probably a couple weeks, depending on how many miles I put on it. And then we're going to take it down, or the head, or valve cover back off of it and adjust the valves. All right, I got laid out on the tailgate here, all the goodies we took off of it. This bolted on the side of the head right here, on the side of the head right there and went up to the intake. That let part of your exhaust gases go through this bolted on the side of the uh, exhaust manifold over there and went around this here come in behind the motor and i think water went in here if i'm not mistaken to help keep the thing cool here's the big acorn thing i was talking about earlier that that big vacuum line went to here was what bolted on top of the, um, all this stuff here. This is what bolted on top of the valve cover right here. This is all the vacuum lines and useless mess that ain't there no more. Some of it went to these, some of it went to this. It just, it went a little everywhere. Anyway, like I say, do your research. This doesn't increase any horsepower whatsoever. It just, you're gonna quit forcing dirty air back into your intake because to be 100% honest, to be 100% honest, uh, when I took the intake manifold off, it was corroded, crudded, black, dirty inside. It took me forever to get water brushes and carburetor cleaner and what have you and scrub that thing out, try to get all that uh, soot and stuff out of, that, out of the intake that I could. And that's this part right here. It forced it back in here. These, all four of these, and this area right here was a, a mess. Um, this here wasn't too bad because the engine is sucking the air down. So it didn't get up into the throttle body and stuff, but this was a mess. This second half down here, it bolts to the head was a mess. Anyway, got all that cleaned up. Should be a whole lot better now. So I'm gonna, like I said, I got about 15 miles on it. Um, I'm gonna drive it for a few days and then take it. It's got just a little bit of click on the uh, rocker arms. We adjusted it out like the book said rotate the motor adjusted it rotated and checked it a couple of times but still doesn't mean we got it you know 100 perfect on the first try so put a little mileage on it um probably going to run this oil a couple thousand mile and then you know kind of the break-in oil i guess you might say uh we use the assembly lube when we build it and it's got that and an oil in it we ran a couple thousand miles change oil put a good toyota filter on it with a check valve and we ought to be back in business the toyota's back on the road after that, it's time to start the body work. I have a brand new fender in the building. I'm basically gonna give up on that one. That's the original fender, it's rusted out. We've patched it twice and here we are. Got a little dent there I gotta work on, paint. This is back in the day when they shipped the truck over to the States without the bed on it in order to, I guess, save import tax and then they put the bed on it here. Well, looky there, there's your two different for whatever reasons, it's got age on it. We done patched a hole back here. This side here is firing pretty well other than needing some uh, a 
attention to the uh, paint. Got a little rust coming through down there. Normal wear from hitting your foot against there. The overall, it ain't too bad a shape. We're just gonna have to do a little body work on it. But after all, this is a 31 year old truck, 31 year old paint. It, uh, it needs a little TLC. Then we're gonna get our 1050s back on there with a 15 by 10 inch aluminum wheels. Probably be worth more than the rest of the truck is. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video. It's just been short and sweet. Like I say, check out the link. Be sure and check out the guy that done a much better job than I did of trying to film the uh, EGR delete. So I stress that a couple of times. He done a great job. Y'all check back. Check out the rest of the channel. Have a great day. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one.